Hi, I'm Jonathan McDonald from Province Sports. I'm here with longtime hockey writer Ben Kuzma. Ben, Tuesday, 4.30, the Canucks play their seventh game in a, a long seven-game road trip. They're in Montreal uh, to play the Canadians. Uh, so many issues to talk about uh, surrounding the Habs, but one of them that's a funny one is that a recent penalty mm-hmm. kill for the Habs featured Manny Malhotra, Dale Weiss, Mike Weaver, and Brian Allen. Ben, what do those four men have in common? All former Canucks, and uh, of course, Manny Malhotra will win a face-off for you. Mike Weaver can fix your laptop. He was really good with the electronics. Uh, Brian Allen can sort of help you if he's your number seventh defenseman. And uh, Dale Weiss, well, he's uh, Bobby Orr or Daniel Sedin on certain nights. Interesting play there, but uh, you know, it, it speaks more to uh, what we'll probably talk about uh, with the GM Bergevin there, making some really prudent moves in Montreal. Uh, you know, this is a team that has to play an up-tempo system, it has to be entertaining, but has found the right pieces to go into the right spots, and uh, while these are all role players, and we know how ma- good Manny is in the circle, uh, was leading the NHL in face-off percentage, uh, especially in the, the defensive zone, they're playing roles. Uh, they're key. They're, they're parts to a puzzle in Montreal that continues to evolve. And people keep looking at the Eastern Conference saying, who's the best team? Montreal has to be in the mix. Maybe it's not the best team, but they're going to be in the mix. Okay, you mentioned mm-hmm. the GM, Mark mm-hmm. Bergevin, uh, making astute moves, even yeah. early in the season where he's cleared cap space yeah. for next year. He's got cap space for the trade deadline as well. So here's a guy who's obviously looking toward the playoffs and thinking, what piece can I bring in yeah. you know, in the last sure. quarter of the season? Well, the other thing, too, is uh, kind of a bit of a departure is signing Brendan Gallagher to a long-term contract. I mean, he's going to be 23 this summer, and uh, to sign a six-year extension, it takes him out of free agency, and it speaks to the confidence that Bergevin has in this player. I mean, we all saw Gallagher play here. He's, he's 5'9", maybe 190, but he plays 6'2", 220. And, and like I referenced uh, the other day, to me, he's kind of like Russell Wilson in the NFL. He is making GMs and coaches think twice about who they draft. It's a fifth-round draft pick. Uh, he will go to the net. I mean, I saw him battling with Zdeno Chara. He's a pit bull, but there's a skill level attached to that. And the fact that he was able to get a six-year contract with a 3.75 cap hit, and it's front-loaded. He's going to make his money in year one and two. It's five, and then it's four million. So good on him. But I think the interesting thing there in Montreal is that they're not only prepping a team for today, they can already see where the game is going and who can play the game. Montreal probably has more small players than any team in the league. It's a speed game. It's going away from the fighting and the bullying. And Bergeron is smart enough to be ahead of that on the curve and good for Gallagher, he's going to be there long term. And last thing, you mentioned, of course, uh, the prominent Vancouver kid, mm. Brendan Gallagher, but their other key BC player, of course, is Carey Price. Yep. The other day when you and I did a video talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins, we talked. you felt that the Pens couldn't win with Marc-Andre Fleury. Can the Montreal Canadiens win a Stanley Cup with Carey Price? Absolutely. I think that he's the difference. I think what's happened is he's understood what it means to play in Montreal, to be in that fishbowl. Uh, he has uh, used psychologists in the past, and he's much more even keeled in understanding what it means to play in that city day in, day out. And I think, you know, when I looked at this trip, I, I thought one of the toughest games for the Canucks was going to be in Montreal, for obvious reasons. It's the last stop in the seven-game trip, and it's going to be Miller against Price. And I think uh, he's a tough guy to beat. Uh, He's so compact and calm in his game, and we've seen Ryan Miller do that. That's something I'm really looking forward to, the goaltending duel on that night. All right, well, Ben, you can read, of course, at provincesports.com and at thewhitetello.ca. He'll be reporting from Le Centre Bell in Montreal. (laughs) Oui, oui.